Alright, since I'm stuck in traffic, let me talk to you a little bit about my bike. It is a 2017 Kawasaki Versus 650. It's a 649cc parallel twin. Produces around 69 horsepower and something something torque. I don't know the figures. You can probably Google it if you're really interested. Um, I got the bike second hand with 3,000 kilometers on it. A bunch of accessories like when I got the bike uh, it already had the crash bars uh, they're demotive crash bars had SW Motec skid plate um, what else there was the S Venture beak sliders the Mark Buster hand guards it also had a uh, a top box bracket on the on the back, but I swapped that out for a GV, which is my current setup. Um, so what I put on it, I put on this windshield extension, uh, the ram mount, this uh, throttle assist. Uh, I bought this tank bag, the top box, which is a 58 liter GV Outback Trekker. I, al I also put side, uh, side bag mounts or brackets from GV, which I use with 30 liter waterproof uh, GV bags. They're soft luggage. We've used that uh, for our loops and our, our my wife and I like going on really long rides like the furthest we've gone is 2200 kilometers it took us about nine days but that's with a five-day layover in Cebu. I'll talk to you more about that in a later book, later episode. What else have I put on this? Um, oh yeah, I put on a motorwork lowering kit because the bike is really tall. It's too tall for me. With my short stumpy legs after installing the motor work lowering kit it's a lot better now so i had to lower the front end as well to keep the geometry of the bike and it handles beautifully you can't tell that it's lowered some of you may have noticed this uh, circular parabolic mirror that I put on the extensions um, mounting plate uh, it helps me see blind spots and I just think it looks a little it looks cool <laughs> there's no other way about it because I can see me I can see myself and let's be honest who hasn't looked at their reflection in a shop window while passing by, right? Probably 99% of bikers out there love seeing themselves on their bike. Whether it's in a photograph or in a reflection. So this way, I get to see myself all the time. Yeah, call me vain. I don't care. Oh, I didn't even realize I was finally moving. So when I'm 
a, when I'm riding alone, I usually listen to music on my headset. It's set really low. You know, it's just background music. It's not like I can't hear anything outside the helmet. I can still hear everything, even if I'm wearing earplugs. And that's another topic for another day. I always wear earplugs, so does my wife. We're a lot more comfortable riding with earplugs in. I don't know where I'm headed. I rarely pass by this road. I wouldn't even pass here if it weren't for Waze or Google Maps. So back to music. Yes, I usually listen to music. I use Spotify. playlists on Spotify. I stream it. Some of it, some of the phones are saved on my phone. I mean some of the songs are saved on my phone. But mostly I stream it. No, it doesn't take a lot of data. Surprisingly, right? And with the plan I use, I also get a free gigabyte of data exclusively for Spotify so that helps too right now I'm listening to 70s playlist or 70s road trip that's the name of the playlist I love old music I love old music more than I love current music like music during my youth before my youth my mom's time, before my mom's time. I just like old music. Cause I think the music from yesteryears is the, just a lot more musical. <laughs> And musicians back in the day, they, they were genius. Seriously. I can't even think of one musician. You know, one current musician. Who can hold a candle to the musicians of yesteryear. Being stuck in traffic is bad? Try being stuck in traffic on a motorcycle. Try being stuck in traffic on a motorcycle this big and this hot. Yes, this runs hot. Sometimes my I feel like my legs are being cooked. Like seriously. No, not my bacon and eggs, just the legs. My bacon and eggs are fine, thank you. 